So Microsoft had an Xbox Series X architecture deep dive where they detailed the power behind their most powerful console yet. Let's take a closer look. Welcome everybody and thank you for joining me. So tonight Microsoft broke down the hardware of the Xbox Series X. Appearing on the same brain podcast with Justine and Jenna, Phil Spencer did say that the month of August will be hardware focused. So they gave us a detailed look at the architecture that will be making next generation possible. They gave us quite a bit of information. Some of the information we already saw and some of the details revealed for the first time. Starting off with the physical view of the GPU, this monster will be TSMC N7 enhanced, 15.3 billion transistors, a 12 layer subtract with 2963 ball BGA and of course developed by AMD. We also know that this is an 8 core 16 thread Zen 2 CPU and a 52 CU GPU, the image presented paints a pretty picture. They also took some time to share some next generation features with us, sampler feedback streaming that will be a game changer for Xbox, variable rate shading, if you don't know what that is here is a quote from Microsoft's GitHub detailing that, that is a mechanism to enable allocation of rendering performance power at varying rates across the rendered image, visually there are cases where shading rate can be reduced with little to no reduction in perceivable output quality leading to free performance. Xbox Velocity architecture that was designed as the ultimate solution for game streaming in the next generation. Xbox Velocity architecture comprised of four major components, the custom NVMe SSD hardware accelerated decompression blocks, a brand new direct storage API layer and sampler feedback streaming. Microsoft also claims that this console will be 4K capable and support 120 frames. There is also another big next generation feature, DirectX Ray Tracing. Ray Tracing is a technique that makes light in video games behave like it does in real life. It works by simulating actual light rays using an algorithm to trace the path of a beam of light that it would in the physical world. When that happens, it could result in a tectonic shift for the visuals in games. This is a quote from Wire.com, links down in the description. When it comes to multimedia, storage and those type of things, I'm not gonna go into too much detail because I feel like we already know that information like the one terabyte NVMe SSD internal storage, the external user accessible slot for a second NVMe SSD and of course the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray drive. It was just interesting to see how much more powerful the Xbox Series X is compared to the previous generation consoles. 4.8 billion transistors for the Xbox One compared to 15.4 billion for the new console, seeing this technology breakdown gives us great insight of the power of the Xbox Series X. Sometimes a lot of misinformation is spread about both the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. I'm sure all of us have read at least one story where some insider claims that either the Xbox or the PlayStation will have some type of performance issue or won't be capable of 4K. Presentations like this shows us the truth about these consoles and don't worry if you don't understand some of the extremely detailed high-tech stuff. Honestly, you don't need to. All you need to know is that the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 will be 4K capable powerful machines. But on that note, this is where I'm going to end it. So if you enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you would like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. And as always, please remember to stay safe, wash your hands, don't touch your face, and I hope to see you again soon.